Hey everybody, Ryan here, D-Trailer. Today on our 2023 Subaru Outback Wagon, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Hopkins trailer wiring kit. But before we get into that, why don't you just take a minute, check this out and make sure it's gonna work for you. If you do plan on pulling a trailer with your Outback Wagon, uh, you're gonna need a way to illuminate all the lights on that trailer, because uh, for one, you know, you need that to be legal, and two, to be safe. You know, that way people around you know what's going on. And this is where uh, this kit is gonna come into play. It's gonna give us all those signals. So with this one, it's gonna live inside the vehicle when you're not using it. So when you're ready to uh, hook up to your trailer, you can open up the hatch. And then inside of here is where our wiring connector will be located. And um, you know, with this setup, you can keep it inside like we have here today or you can route it outside and, and bolt it up next to your hitch or something like that. But with this particular kit, the length of wire we get is pretty short, so it might be kind of tough to do. Um, so with this, this particular one, I'd, I'd uh, recommend it like this. If you're wanting to put it outside, maybe one of the other kits would be more ideal, the Takancha or the Kurt. But how it's gonna work, you're just gonna drape it over, stay away from the latch mechanism close the hatch on it and that might seem kind of odd to do but it's not going to hurt the wiring and now this is going to give you that connector you need to hook your trailer up to and like i said it i wish it was a little bit longer you know you just don't have a ton of wire to work with but kind of is what it is but so this uh wiring kit is going to be a four-way flat type connector which is pretty basic um you know, for, for what type of trailers a Subaru is going to be pulling, generally speaking, you're going to get your tail lights, your brake lights, and your running lights, and uh, be able to power everything up. Other than that, at the end of the day, you know, not, not really a whole lot to it. Um, personally, because of the length of this, I would probably end up going with one of the other two kits, uh, if I were, were to be honest with you, but is what it is. It, it'll still get the job done and, and work. Um, as far as the installation goes, it's really straightforward. You essentially just pop off one panel and you really don't even need to do that per se, uh, but to get to a wiring connector where this just plugs in and then you route it over here. And um, that, that's really about it. And that kind of brings me to my next point too. We have the Wilderness Edition. Um, this will work with all the other sub models too. So from your base model to your fully loaded and, and everything in between. So regardless of what one you got, this will plug in and work. But uh, if you'd like to see how that's done, feel free to hang around. We'll go ahead and hook it up together now. To begin our installation, we're going to be here at the back of our Subaru. And we need to open up the rear hatch. And that's because uh, the connector that we're looking for will be located back here. So to make things a little bit easier, we're going to remove our floor covering. So this just lifts right out. You can set that off to the side. And then there's also this um, little spare tire tool kit. We'll pop that out of the way as well. Now we can remove this threshold piece and honestly you probably don't have to do this but it does make it a lot easier to see uh, kind of what's going on but with this it just kind of snaps into place. This one's coming out pretty easy. Um, you can't always take a trim tool or a flathead screwdriver even as well and, and just kind of pry, pry along there to uh, help work this out. So if you look right here, that's the connector plug that we're gonna be using to tie our trailer wiring in. So it's just taped up a little bit. I'm gonna carefully just take a, a knife and cut that tape. That way it'll be a little bit easier to work with. With this now exposed, we can take our new wiring harness and this is literally just gonna plug right in. And before we get too carried away routing this and securing it, I feel like it's a good idea to test it just to make sure that it's working properly first. I'm using this tester as opposed to just plugging into our trailer. And I do that because if your trailer has any issues, then it might mislead you into thinking it's something on the vehicle side. But we'll go ahead and try our left turn signal, our right turn signal. We'll hit our brakes and then turn on our running lights. Now that we verified this works, we can get it secured. And uh, in here, you know, not a whole lot of places to zip tie this to. Um, so I just got some double-sided sticky tape, and that's what I'm going to use. You'll have to get it separately, but let's peel it off, and I'm going to put it right down here uh, out of the way. 
can go ahead and simply just push the threshold right back into position. Once you got that threshold on, you can reinstall all your floor covers the opposite way that you removed them. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Hopkins trailer wiring kit on our 2023 Subaru Outback Wagon.